Thanks. All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, tonight, again, we've got Price Headley, who has gotten uh, got good stuff to listen to, and uh, it's uh, usually an honor and uh, very informational uh, uh, evening when he comes on. So I'm not going to take up any more of his time. Price, welcome, and let's see what you got. Well, thank you, Steve, and uh, great to be with everybody. I'm trying to get it to share the right page here. Let's see if uh, it'll actually let me stay on the page here. Glad to be with everybody. I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh want to make sure we're coming in loud and clear. Just type in what your preferred trading vehicle is, just out of curiosity. I'd love to know what everybody's trading out there, whether you're trading stocks, options, futures. Uh, so we've got a lot of option traders in with us. Glad to see that. And uh, let's share my monitor here. There we go. Okay, this should work now. Um, a lot of option traders, good. So I do my share of options. That's my preferred vehicle. But I do stocks. I do ETFs. I do a uh, little bit of Forex. You, you kind of, you name it, um, we've done it. But uh, we're going to talk tonight about what I call trade execution secrets. So we're going to kind of overlay some of this PowerPoint. Steve has allowed me to share my uh my whole desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be dragging in some current market charts in addition to talking about some of the keys to better trade execution. Because what I find is, like Steve, at Big Trends, I share a passion for education. I really believe that you have to educate yourself well to be a better trader. So that's really the first E, if you will, on our on our chart is uh, really looking at it and saying, okay, you know, let's make sure that we're educating ourselves, educating you as a as a customer and client, I'm going to actually just move it over to a fuller screen view here. And, you know, from there saying, okay, once we've got that working on the education side, that's all great, but then you got to know how to explore for opportunities down here in the bottom three E's. And we're going to talk about tonight how then you go into execution mode, how you actually manage the trade, how you actually kind of are accountable to your success, and some tools you can use. And I've, I've told Steve that I actually was going to do a special. We've just actually in some of our workshop rooms that have been extremely popular because of some of the trades that I call out on a week-by-week -week basis, using options in particular, but also stocks and ETFs. Uh, we're actually uh, raising the price here, um, but before we do that, I told Steve I was going to honor the lower price uh, before it got raised on our uh, coaching room. So we'll talk about that later, too. But let's get into it. You know, and we're going to focus on keeping it simple. You know, I'm a big believer that simple is usually better. You know, you don't have to do, you know, 18 different things well. It's the old 80-20 rule. If you do the top couple of things well, that will drive 80% of your results, you know. And then the big thing is you want to build a trading system that gives you very clear entries and very clear exits. So we'll talk about not just getting in but getting out of the trade tonight. Um, and then we're going to talk about just some of the simple methods that we use and then, you know, how you can start to see those top performing systems in action. Um, because I'm a, I'm a big believer in not just having a live trading room where you can actually see what I'm doing every um, Friday in this case, uh, which we'll talk about later, but also archiving that. You can go back and study it. So it's kind of like going backwards and forwards. We talk a lot of weekly options, so I'm glad to see there's interest in weekly options from JC and probably from some others in here tonight. It all starts with having a better plan. You know, if you had a business and you're competing uh, across the way from another similar business, the question is, what's your plan and what's your edge, how you're going to take that bright idea and turn it into a better approach. I'm really glad to see a lot of people like weekly options because, frankly, that's my absolute number one favorite vehicle. And that's why I do my sessions every Friday morning because we, we do some amazing last day strategies in addition to some of the swing trading and position trading strategies, too. There's something in there every week for everybody. So I'm glad to see a lot of weekly interest. But the key is, what is your edge? Out of this whole slide, I'd say, you know, if you've got a business, in this case your trading business, what is your trading edge? And I know Steve does a great job of teaching about how to use the candles, how to tie that in with the, the key trends on the, on the various moving averages of stochastic. Um, you know, and like Steve, I believe that the best indicators work 
the same on all your key time frames. You know, that it, it really, if it's a good setup and a good chart structure, that's going to be a lot more effective for you in any time frame than actually trading something that's not the right structure. I can't believe how many people want to just buy a dip in something without knowing whether it's in an uptrend or a downtrend. And, and you know, so many people get faked out by thinking that something's turning around back to the upside, but then they don't look at the longer-term chart. So I'm a big believer in what I call multiple time frames. And if some of you, like Ames, don't know yet what your preferred vehicle is, that's okay. If you're still learning, better to teach yourself well first you're in the right place with Steve and uh, with me because I'm going to make sure, like Steve, that we're really walking you through a solid foundation. It begins with the foundation. You've got to have that to weather the market storms. And by the way, for those of you who are just through the northeaster storm, uh, Hurricane Sandy, wish you um, hope, hope uh, you came out of it okay and uh, you and yours are, are uh, looking forward uh, Positively, my my uh, thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in that area. It sounds like just some incredible, incredible storm. But you know, hey, you know, the bottom line when we get into trading is we've got to have a plan to weather the ups and the downs in the market, and broadly know about educating ourselves about the right general target to be looking at. You know, uh, it's the old Yogi Berraism: if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Right. Uh, well, that's a problem because if if you if you're in a situation in which you are just meandering, you're probably not going to get to your goal. You're probably going to be on the right uh, in the right area there. So the bottom line is that you've got to have the broader target in mind, but then you've got to start whittling it down. I'm going to talk briefly tonight and show you a kind of a current market scan. So that's where the scanning comes in on the exploring side, and then the execution side is how you whittle it down to really the top candidates to then decide on and ultimately act on because it's about taking action. You know, all the knowledge in the world is not going to be worth anything if you actually don't pull the trigger and take action on it. I talk to a lot of traders who have not been in a position of really getting themselves to a place of confident action taking. So you must be confident, but you must not be overconfident. See, a lot of people just assume, well, I can work my way through this problematic trade, and I'll, I'll be confident about it. And maybe that worked for you in, in your work life and business, but it, it doesn't work in the markets if you're overconfident and just assume you can gut it out, especially with options. Because the bottom line is that we're focused on, you know, really getting on the best trends. And if it's not showing the right profile, we learn how to get out of it. And we teach people how to get out and move on to the next opportunity. So everybody is telling me that the goal that they're after, besides everybody wants to make money, of course, but they want to do it with less risk. They want to make money more consistently is the outcome that uh, – Pretty much just about 95% of my coaching students tell me their, their, their monetary goals may differ, but their baseline goal is to be more consistent as a trader. And my belief is that it comes from a couple of key pieces. You've got to have the ability to execute, and you've got to have the ability to know when to pull the trigger. When your system says you no longer have an edge, you've got to know how to pull the trigger on the way out of the trade whether it's protecting profits or whether it's just taking the quick loss and moving on. And I'll talk about both of those tonight. But then it's also about the accountability to your success. Ultimately, who's going to determine if you're going to be successful or not? Ultimately, when the rubber meets the road, you are. You know, our job as educators is to basically help you to see things that maybe you just haven't been seeing. Maybe you weren't aware of them before. Maybe you're still early in your journey, you're still starting to learn this and kind of build some momentum and build some confidence, but it's a process, you know, and, and trading like like anything you do in life, you know, you talk about the Tiger Woods and the Michael Jordans of the world that are great in their sport, and the bottom line is, it's because they've spent thousands upon th thousands of hours of practice mastering those, those techniques to be able to execute them in the real-time game. So we're going to talk about that tonight. I, I believe that some of the key pieces here, when you focus on execution, that, and for me, the, the first step on execution, folks, is once you have a plan, you've got to then start working on just showing to yourself. This is a it's kind of an internal game. The inner game of trading is proving it to yourself that, indeed, you can actually, you know, execute your plan consistently. 
This will improve your confidence, and ultimately it will improve your trust in yourself that you know you can, in the heat of battle, pull the trigger to get in or to get out when you need to. I'm also a big believer in systematic operations. That is, you know, the more you can systematize your approach, the better off you're going to be. And so, you know, a good example, actually, in this market right now, let me just quickly just, I'm going to kind of keep it interactive here. So I'm going to uh, just show you, for example, um, on TradeStation, you can do this on a variety of platforms. But here's an example of one of my simple systems. It's called the percent %R system, the big trends way. And what that does is it looks for, you know, strong overbought or strong oversold periods where they can actually be meaningful trends. And you say, hold on, an overbought market staying overbought, and I would actually buy it right there because it's overbought and continue to go up? Yes, I would. It's part of what I teach in my uh, Friday morning sessions is basically, okay, how do you get on those moves, whether it's on a daily chart like this one? That was back, of course, in early August. A lot of fear was out there about Greece and Europe and all those negatives out there. Of course, then the Fed poured it on on the markets, and we talk also about, by the way, how we tighten our stops on each of these points, what I call retest points. When this last test gets violated, that was sayonara at the close there or the next morning's open. Bye-bye to that uptrend. You know, kick it out, cash in that bullish trade, and wait. Well, now look at what's happened. Today we got the classic kind of first day of the month rally. A lot of times you'll see pension money come in the first trading day of the month from the, you know, kind of the end of month contributions and the money managers try to put that to work. Of course it is the beginning of that kind of November to end of April positive six month seasonal period. But we actually got a bearish follow through day off of that low 143.05. You can see I have candles up here. I'm actually driving this, this more off the chart structure. If that low doesn't hold 143.05, which it broke back here on October 23rd, that's what I call a bearish confirmation. And you'll learn all about that in my coaching workshops. But the bottom line is today's rally is what we call a bear retest. That means that today's high, 143.01, is a number that if the bears are going to stay in control of this short-term recent little downtrend, today's high has to hold. So this is actually a great place to consider tomorrow morning I'll be looking for potential uh, short-term bearish trades, especially if it maybe opens up a little bit on the upside momentum we had today and then starts to fade after maybe an opening little pop-up. So this is part of what I teach my students is, okay, how do you manage this to do this? So this is just giving you a taste of the kind of real-world setups that I would look for as a low-risk boy. And you say, well, how do I know that that high from today is going to hold on a close-by-close -close basis? This is a daily chart. And my answer is, I don't. But what I know is this is what I call a low-risk bearish retest, meaning that if I'm wrong, whatever the close above 143.01 is will get me out fairly quickly, even potentially within one candle, the next candle being tomorrow's trading action. But also I know that if I'm right, I can potentially not just retest the lows, but I can oftentimes break to an even lower low if I'm right. Now, of course, we have... The jobs data due out tomorrow. We have the presidential election due out on uh, on Tuesday night. So a lot of news coming out, right? So you know it's going to be a very interesting and volatile time. But the chart structure is setting up short-term bearish for what it's worth. Now, of course, would I really want to take an aggressive position in front of jobs numbers? Probably not an aggressive position, but we were pointing that out. We all know, Jennifer says, the jobs data will be phenomenal, kind of like last month, right, where the unemployment drops, the biggest drop it had in something like 29 years, right, right in time for, hmm, a key event that happens every four years coming up, right? So, um, and CJ said, what was the yellow line in my chart? That's just a 10-day exponential average. Nothing fancy on that, but it just kind of shows you the short-term trend with the exponentials. I know Steve looks at simples and exponentials. Now, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to basically create a plan to generate a results-driven system. You need to know what you're good at, what your strengths are, and also you need to know what you're weak at. And that's part of what I kind of expose for each trader in my um, coaching sessions that I do every week to small group traders. And mine's getting full, so that's why I told you this would be the last uh, – group that I would actually offer it at the lower price before I raise my price next week. So I'll tell you more about that later. But you want to also reduce the amount of time that you have to invest 
um, in the trading game. You know, my experience is that, you know, when you're spending a lot of time, you got to look at not just the return on your investment, but the return on your time. If you're day trading for, you know, seven hours a day, you know, versus if you're just picking stuff out over the course of an hour a day, then the reality is that you better get more return on that time because you're investing a lot more time. But we want to make it also where we can transfer those results so that the knowledge transfer that I do for my coaching students is uh, literally 20 three years now of, of market knowledge since I got out of Duke University and went on to uh, the trading game and uh, and frankly had to kind of relearn some things because it's the markets work differently than what you'd expect when you do your homework in school or when you do your homework in the job. You have to learn how to evaluate psychology as well as the um, nuts and bolts, if you will. So Oh, there's a variety of different technical tools that I teach, but the big thing that you want to have is you want to have a clear buy and a clear sell signal on any given system that you're following. You know, for me, that's huge. If you've got that, that's half the battle is getting really crystal clear. Now we focus then on execution. So we use TradeStation. We use Metastock. Um, over here on the left, we use uh, Thinkorswim. These are all platforms where we have my indicators as a whole toolbox that you can literally find like a, a dozen key methodologies. But I'm going to just focus you on the simple one. But we'll look at a few of them. Like we've talked about exponential moving averages tonight. You've, I'm sure, heard of Bollinger Bands. I teach a unique indicator I developed called Acceleration Bands to find the really big moves in stocks. Those are the ones you really want to leverage with options. The, the ADX is the average directional movement against the directional movement uh, indicator lines, but then I also look at something that's a great exit strategy, and it's called DMI difference. This is one of my favorites for exits at profit targets, because when the trend gets too extended, so it's a great spot to jump on that. Now, you know, there's a lot, a lot of other tools. You've heard of MACD. I actually will teach you a little bit about MACD divergences in the classes. The CCI is a commodity channel index. You don't have to know all this, though. If you're going to start with one thing, I would start with the percent R, fundamentals, and then the advanced percent R. I always say if you learn one tool, it would be learn the percent R, learn how that range and that trend element works, and then market timing perspective, I would say that you've got to focus on, okay, if you own the best stock but the market's in a terrible mode, sometimes the best stocks get hit the hardest. So your job is to basically simplify your decisions down. This is These are just various systems that I've developed over the years for different types of traders. Um, day swing position trading. You know, you can do either. Kind of like Steve says, the charts don't lie on any time frame. It's like, you know, I do find that for me, I like the daily, I like the swing. I like, I'm not even really day trading. Usually I'm more like uh, quick trading over maybe a couple of, of, of windows at a time, a couple of days up to a week, kind of quick trades. You can turn into swing trades on a partial profit position that we trail the stop. Those are fun trades. And then, But, yes, we do some day trades um, also in the chart room on Friday mornings. So we're going to have another one of those tomorrow morning. So for those that take advantage of it tonight, you'll get set up and ready to go come, uh, in this case, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning. Now, from the standpoint, this is just an example with Amgen, but we're going to look at some current examples. We'll look at where the, the percent R is trending strongly. You can see we want to see it going over bot, staying over bot. This little retest point is one of the great spots to get back on a trade. If you miss a trend, retests are a great spot to hop on board. Because even if you get a retest, like percent R showed you back here, on that little low, and it starts to pop, and then it actually retests again just after that, a few bars later, you tighten your stop there, and then you get stopped out here for basically no gain. You know, well, if you took part of your profit along the way, that's fine. But even if you didn't, you're not getting hurt in that type of an example. You're minimizing your risk. There are times where you're going to take a loss, but you're going to keep your losses small if you learn my retest method. Now, I'm curious, why do you trade? Do you trade because you like to retire earlier? Just type in what's most important to you. You want to reduce your debt? You want to teach others, your friends and family? You like more supplemental income to go with your existing income that you might have, either from the markets or, or uh, from another job? Or you just want the benefits of an improved lifestyle? Okay, so we get quite a few that say the income. You want the money, but for what? So, like, reducing the debts, you know, um, improving your lifestyle, all of the above, uh, freedom, okay? 
So, you know, when you know, buy yourself out of a job, I like that one. You know, want to do something until you die, okay. Well, you know, and you know, it helps to, you know, have even more positive goals. You know, when you build your retirement account, when you're thinking about your family, you're thinking about your loved ones, you're thinking about charity, what if you have those bigger purpose goals, that can really help you to, it is fun to trade, Nathan's uh, right. And also, like Joseph says, to preserve what you have. You know, so making sure you're not going to lose what you've worked hard to build up over time. So I appreciate you sharing that. It definitely is is something where money can do a lot of things for you, but yet you have to trade them the right way and, and understand why you're in this game. So I believe that the why is that driver that gets you through not just the fun days, but also gets you through those choppy days where you get knocked a little bit and you say that's part of the game, you know. I think the challenges to tying that in with what's going to prevent you from reaching your goal, a big one for me is how you manage your emotions. Most people, amazingly, are so emotional in their trading that they're a victim of fear and greed and they, they get taken advantage of by getting out too low and getting, getting in too high in a move. So that's why I'm a big believer that you can identify a breakout, but you've got to know how to then trade at relatively lower risk levels. Um, you know, Bobby says he likes gambling. Well, I'm going to contend that if you trade the right way, you should actually have a positive edge, which to me is not gambling. If you have a positive edge over a large series of examples, that's, to me, a form of probabilistic investing. You know, think of the house in Vegas. The the house knows they have an edge. What they don't want you to do is to bet it all in one hand and either leave or, or, um, or you know, take the money and run. They want you to just get ground down over a large series of trades. That's why they encourage people to plug their cards in, get these bonus points, and the longer they're hanging around, the more that the casino knows they're going to gradually take that money the majority of the time. So, you know, the bottom line is that, yes, we're gambling and not gambling in stocks. I'm glad you can kind of clarify that, Bob, because, yeah, I mean, gambling for entertainment is one thing, but this is not – it's not entertaining for me to lose. My goal is to say how do we set it up so that you win, so you have an edge, so that you're like the house. You, you set up strategies where you have an edge. So what I think is key is that you can't try to do it all. You've got to have a specific expertise. I always say – Become an expert at one specific pattern, and then you can branch out. So you'll achieve more success if you become a specialist in one pattern first and then build on that. And so then it's about the execution and accountability we talked about earlier. The hallmarks of really successful long-time traders that stay in the game through a lot of ups and downs in the market is they know how to manage their capital well. That's part of what I teach in the workshops, too. So you've got to know how to manage your capital well. You've got to know how to be sensible. You can't get too high or too low in this game. You really look to say, look, we're going to make it to where you can, uh, you know, be around for the long haul in this game. That's that's what I'm after, and I, I think that's what everybody ultimately is after, is being around the longer the better. So, you know, from this perspective, you know, what we're looking for here is an opportunity um, to really, you know, take it to the next level. So, uh, you know, from this perspective, the way I do it is basically breaking it down to one method at a time, one technique at a time, and then getting some feedback um, on, you know, okay, what's working for you, what's not working for you. The markets are constantly um, giving you feedback. And so the question is, are you listening? And so our job is to teach you to be a better listener. And so um, we'll definitely help you with that. Now, you know, from the standpoint of, uh, you know, okay, moving it forward here, you know, what are these training workshops all about? This is like real-time coaching. People actually can't believe what a ridiculously good value this is um, because basically we're doubling the price. It's been, it's been $99 a month for kind of a starter thing just to kind of get it going. And now we're literally getting to the point where we literally don't want to have too many people to handle from or every Friday. And a lot of times these go an hour and 15, hour and 30, hour and 45 uh, a couple of weeks ago, you know, basically whatever, whatever it takes to make sure that we are uh, getting you the, the material you need to be a more effective in your uh, trading and your investing, you know, so that's what it's really all about. 
Now, you know, from the standpoint of saying, okay, you know, how are we going to, you know, get you there? Well, there's two ways. One is the stuff that I do live, okay? So live trading is something everybody loves to see. Sometimes people can't be there on a certain Friday morning. I'm a big believer that, you know, hey, like tomorrow we've got the jobs data, right? We all know it's probably going to look really good. And so we're going to show you lots of examples of how I've done this. But the bottom line is that, you know, from this perspective, you know, it's also the access to the past courses. This is the archive access. You can literally go back through about a year's worth of classes right now, which is kind of crazy that you could buy a month and literally see the past year's worth of classes. But I'm a big believer in kind of an open book, you know, look at the trades that I made that worked, look at trades that didn't work, but over time you'll see how that gets you to your goals and how you should manage your capital accordingly. Now, you know, from the standpoint of, you know, we'll talk about any stocks and ETFs you want, plus I'll show you what I'm picking up each Friday morning. And so, basically, we're going to get into that in a little bit. But, you know, it's fun to actually see people talk about their success stories. You know, like Bo, she wrote in, she was about to give up. She had basically about had it with trading. She literally was like, you know, done. I saw, I knew she was capable of doing a lot better, and she just really hadn't quite found it to click. And so from this perspective, you know, my whole thing is to say, okay, you know, how do we make sure that you can take maximum advantage of really the best ways to thing is that you make sure that you know the right way to trade. And once you know that, then you can basically say, okay, you can go in and you can really um, – take full advantage of, of the big trends way um, to trade. So Bo said as a as she went just on her first few months, in three months she went from 10K to 25K. And so um, from that perspective, you know, we're here to help, you know, you really understand the right way to trade, and we'll show you that. Now, you know, I've got so much to show you before we get into that, but it's fun to see these testimonials. Remember the percent R method I was just talking about? Robert wrote in, and he was talking about he had been really struggling, and then when the market was in a downtrend, all of a sudden he started making all kinds of great trades with percent R. His total portfolio almost tripled. He said he had more 100%, 200% winners than he ever had in the past. And he said he had a few losers, but they stopped out around 20% of losses or less. So guess what? Based on that experience, he, he said he now uses percent R is a primary trader for all of his trades and then some of the other indicators I teach as filters. You know, so from this perspective, you know, this is what we're looking for the big trends way is these type of opportunities. And so we'll go show you some more of those here. Now, you know, I'm, I'm telling you more about this, but let's go look at another classic stock. Let's look at Apple. We got to, everybody's interested in Apple these days, so it's, it's really important to me that you really focus on um, other trading opportunities. This is not a sales pitch. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, yeah, I guess I'm teasing you a little bit about it, but the bottom line is that, you know, you're going to see lots of examples here. Apple's a great one because, you know, Apple, it's amazing to me how many people are stuck in looking at the past. You know, and you can see why, because if you go in and you look at what's going on here, yeah, monster moves on percent R. The breakout that happened at the end of last year was 399.69 buy. And when it, you had a couple of test points that held, and then we teach you about those, but bottom line is that when that test point broke, April 13th was a key low, and it broke the next day, then you had to get out. And you can see it was dead money. It actually worked its way down for a month, then it went sideways. If you're buying options through that window, May and June of this year, you're in big, big trouble because that's sideways, choppy, choppy action. You don't want to trade chop. You want to trade trends. So from this perspective, um, we really look at it and say, okay, how do we make sure that we can uh, that we can really find those trends? Well, look at what's happening right now. Um, is that we're really looking for you know right now a little bit of a different kind of trend. Everybody's looking back in the past saying what an obvious winner Apple is. But the reality is that you can see, in this case, yeah, you can see we're using the 30 bar percent R, but I've got some very specific rules that it's important to me that you learn the right way to trade. I still see a lot of people who think they can take it from a free event and then go trade it with real hard dollars, and, and I hear some 
some stories about people who just weren't trading it the right way that concerned me. So for literally 99 bucks for the next month, you'll see just uh, how valuable that $99 investment in your financial future can be. But bottom line is, Apple did have a nice run in August. We got a retest at a slight violation. When did, when did the iPhone 5 come out to the public officially? Does anybody remember a date? It was September the 21st. So there you go, Buffalo Soldier. Yep, it was September 21st. There it is, September 21st. Oh, what was the all-time high in Apple stock? September 21st. Uh, you can see it had been up 704, but then September 21st intraday it got to 70507, the day that they announced the uh, iPhone 5 was for sale finally. Okay, so this is a classic Wall Street phrase. Buy the rumor and sell the news. Once you have that news hitting, of course, I was on a Friday over the weekend. They said, well, supplies are a little short, so we only sold 5 million and change of them. So the 6 to 7 stock gap down. But look at what's been happening ever since. Now, percent R said when it goes over sold and then it follows through, that's where it gives us sort of the confirmation signal. We'll teach you about what all these bands mean and that kind of a thing in the workshops too. But I'm giving you a percent R lesson here so you can take something out of this that if you take nothing else, you'll know how to at least read when, a, when you don't want to fade a trend. See, if, if you get an oversold signal and it doesn't fall through below that low like this one doesn't, then, yeah, it's the bottom of the trading range. If it hits the top of that but doesn't fall through, then we don't get a buy signal either. It's still stuck in that range. But we like to trade with the stronger trends, and that's really what big trends is all about is finding those strong trends. Okay, so... From the perspective is, yes, yeah, sell on the good news. I mean, by that point, if you didn't know that the iPhone 5 was coming out, you were probably in a cave somewhere without any kind of Internet or TV access, right? I mean, it was just all over the news. Well, of course, it's been down ever since. Well, what now? Apple recently reported disappointing earnings. What I look for is the retest. So what is the retest about? Let's zoom it in so you can really see it now. Here we are in this little downtrend. 10 bar average. We can see if you just use a 10 bar average, you get whipsawed here. But look, this breakdown where the stock went oversold, then it actually kept going down. That's a confirmed breakdown. So this is a breakout breakdown indicator. It's saying to sell the open. But look at the bounce that day where the percenter comes back above the oversold threshold. This is what I call a retest bar. So that high was 635.38 uh, on the 22nd of October. And look at what a great low-risk enter that was into that close. The next day it opened a little bit below and then just started drifting down. Now, one of the great things in TradeStation, you can do it on a few other platforms, is if I was an option trader, would I buy a 635 put right at the money at the end of that day when I get that retest, that good low-risk entry? I think that's very aggressive. In this case, it would have paid off, but I don't recommend that. I usually recommend the in-the-money options. So, for example, I would probably look at, in that case, Say you're looking at the November monthly options. Even if you buy a 640 um, put, it's probably not in the money enough. So I might tell people, look, maybe we buy a 645 put, 10 points in the money. It's not going to be cheap, but remember, Apple is $635. So 100 shares would cost you 63 grand. If we were buying a 645 put back there on the 22nd at the close, and that wouldn't be the only thing we'd do in this strategy, on the 22nd, that closed at $32. It was 10 points in the money. So you can see it's gone from 32 to about 60 bucks. But what I probably would have also have done is said, let's go ahead and let's sell an option against that too. So maybe we'd sell a little bit below the market, like a 620 put or 625 even. That would have capped our downside return, but would have also reduced our costs fairly dramatically too. So we teach you about spread trades as well. Let me go back to Apple as an example here because I'm going to show you a trade I just did this past Friday in the workshop a wow, week ago. Um, from tomorrow, um, is, you know, Apple been in this downtrend on the daily chart. Now it's in this downtrend on the hourly chart. I teach multiple time frame analysis. And then as we came into the workshop last Friday morning, I said, I'm watching Apple real closely here. It's going oversold, and now it's giving us a sell signal, even on the 15-minute chart, at 602.73. See how fast it fell in that next hour after we put that trade on? What we did is we bought, let me actually go into the trade room itself, and I'll actually show you exactly what we did. So what we did is we said, okay, let me pull up Trade Monster. And within Trade Monster, I said, okay, 
let's go ahead and uh, log in. This is where we keep our model portfolio results of all of our trades that we did. And so let me just show it to you real quick. So I'm launching the trading module within Trade Monster. And uh, one sec. I already have it open. That might be why it's not coming up real quick. So basically, within that platform here, one second, I'm just trying to find it in one sec, um, is that we're, we're actually going to show you how within that platform, no surprise, it's not coming up there how you could take advantage of this the big trends way you know so the big trends will show you that let me actually see if I can just go back off of the PowerPoint here and go find it real quick it's not seeming like it there it is okay I knew it was nearby okay and we told people we did an S&P put and we told people how to manage their way out of that trade too so let's look at Apple for starters okay so what we did if we look at the account from last week, we say, okay, the messages will show it. Last week, we said, okay, on that trade, where is it here? We were doing a few different ones here. We did S&P. We did, uh, there's Exxon Mobil we rolled. I'm just going back and finding the Apple trade real quick. It was happening right around 11.15, I believe. Just looking for it. We do, remember what I said. We'll go do quite a few trades. I guarantee at least two trades. We did a bearish trade on the S&P. It turned out to be a pretty good trade uh, for the last few days. Show you how we get out of that. Okay, so for whatever reason, where is it? Exxon. See these different trades. We did a J&J &J, um, closeout. J&J &J was not working. There it is. There's Apple. Okay, so what I said is we want to fill this spread trade. We want to buy, and we only bought three contracts. So I usually show people around a couple grand. Um, and so this was saying we want to buy the 610 put. Remember, the stock was trading about 602. So that was trading at about um, eight bucks of intrinsic value, but the option was trading for like 11 and a half. And I was like, that's just not good enough. So what we need to do is let's hire tomorrow. And so, but we said, look, we're betting that Apple's going to trend down to about 590. Now, um, if you're following students like Linda A., who just came into the class a week or two ago, you know, she put on, in this case, about 10 contracts and managed to make uh, 3,700 bucks over the course of the next uh, day and a half. You know, so it's kind of exciting when you get that feedback from clients about how well they're doing following the rules. So what were we doing? We were buying the 610, but at the same time we were selling the 595. I don't know if you can see that very well there. I hope you can. But basically, you know, so if we look at Apple and, and what happened to that trade, we can actually bring that back up. If you look at Apple, when we put that trade on here, remember we said we bought the 610. That was at 1130 Eastern time in the morning on last Friday. So if you watch that trade and you say, well, that option over the course of just the next hour, uh, the spread went up about $700 on, on the three contracts that we did. So if you did 10, you went up about 2100 just in the next hour. Um, now, the idea of this is if you're looking at the options, the 121102, I love looking at option charts, by the way. If this is, um, if this is something that's unfamiliar to you, you'll learn how I look at option charts. The 610 put was the option we were saying to buy at 1130 last Friday. So if you look at where that was trading, and again, remember, this is a fairly active contract. So you've got to go back to where we were last week and say, well, last Friday at 11.30, this thing was trading at 13.60. That's why I thought that was too expensive, so it was only 8 bucks in the money, $5.60 a time. So that's why I said, let's be conservative and let's sell the 595 put against it. And of course, that 1360 option over the next hour went up to $22. Sure, the 595 put we sold went against us a little bit, but we still were up, like I said, on three contracts. It was basically like 220 bucks a piece, 230 bucks a piece on each contract that it went up on net for the spread. 
And I said, okay, look, you want to target 590. Apple stock went to 591. Then it bounced. So if you followed the percent R rules through, like I was just telling you about, those actually, and we're getting very specific here, but I'm trying to give you a taste of exactly that, that we're not pulling your leg here. These are specific trades. If you followed the percent R system exit, it gave a retest, and then it violated 598. So we put the trade on at about 602. You should book it at 598. Now, Linda said, hey, I said wait till 590. She ended up getting out the next um, morning on Monday, or actually it wasn't Monday morning. Of course, the markets were closed Monday and Tuesday due to the hurricane devastation. But, of course, it reopened Wednesday. The stock actually came down to 590, the target I had mentioned. She cashed out there. But bottom line is, regardless which way, even if you were holding it now, you saw how it's still doing quite well on the uh, on the portfolio here. So basically, you know, it's one that really you should be out of based on the target being reached. But I check these and update them every week for our students. So I'll always update what we're doing in every open position, okay? So, you know, that's, okay, that's a lot to absorb, I know. We're really covering a lot of ground tonight. But I just, I wanted to share with you some of these key elements here. Now, let's go back in and remind you on the PowerPoint and how you can take advantage of getting into this. Now, we've, my, because, uh, you know, I'm leaving this, uh, this price point up at the $99 before I raise it here, uh, early next week to $199 a month, I'm actually, um, putting this special link in here because this link is one you're going to want to copy and go put on your uh, go put it on your clipboard or whatever because it's only going to be available today and tomorrow morning. Um, you need to get in before the 11 o'clock class tomorrow, or you could get in after and potentially potentially miss out on some of this. But basically, um, you know, for it's 99 bucks, and so what that is. It'll take you to this checkout page, which is, we call it our Winner's Circle Workshops. This is a, and it is a monthly rebell. If you're not happy within 30 days, just tell us to cancel it. You can call us at 800 Big Trends, or you can email us at clientcare at bigtrends.com. And, and so the idea of this is that every Friday, plus all the archives of the last 52 weeks of classes, you're getting 52 plus hours of all my training I've done over the last year, every Friday morning seeing what I'm buying, what I'm selling, how I'm doing it. And it's not just buying an option. It's doing spreads. It's doing, uh, we do sometimes one-day credit spreads. In, our, in fact, that was another trade I did on Apple a couple of weeks back. I sold it at the money straddle, and basically 10 contracts later, our clients took in over $2,700 for five hours of work. You know, so it's one of those things where you're not having to invest a lot into any one trade, but you can really be learn how to manage your um, your real um, account. You know, this isn't this isn't uh, play money. This is this is real money. It's on the line for people, and I make sure that you're basically able to follow this through, no matter what size you trade. I show basically, you know, typically around two grand to twenty five hundred a trade. So I'm not, you know, I'm basically suggesting that you do about five percent of your capital per trade. If you're a smaller trader, that's okay too. The 99 bucks, that'll get you the next four live sessions with me, basically the next 30 days of sessions. And if you like it, I'll allow you to stay at that price because I'm going to raise it to 199 next week. And, and because we're just getting too many people that want a piece of this action. You know, everybody wants great trades and they want to learn how to do it too. So, okay. So how this works is you get the chance to interact not just with any coach, you get the chance to interact with me every week. Every Friday, I do these classes just because I love them. I frankly find I make more money when I'm teaching other people how to do it because I, it reminds me, hey, make sure you follow your rules exactly. There's no excuses. There's no There's no way you can basically say there's no reason you should hold this trade. If it, so this is an hour to an hour and a half uh, once a week. And with all the lessons behind it of the last 50-plus hours, teaching you how this works. So this is basically our live trading room once per week. I don't have the time to commit to doing this every day, all day, because I'm pretty busy with a lot of other trading myself. Uh, I manage assets. I do a lot of other things, uh, you know, on, on my own. But basically, the bottom line is this, that if you're, if you're paying any attention to the percent R, you know, like Bill says, you've gotten a nugget that you can use for a long, long time to come. Uh, very effectively. But what I find is if you like that, you're going to love these classes. Now, let me go on and just remind you just of what some of others have said here. 
it's it's kind of fun when I see these comments. I'm going to actually come in and take a look at a couple more stocks and a couple more strategies that we do across the classes as well. So we're not anywhere close to done. Stay with us. Part of it is knowing, okay, how do you how do you set up the your plan for your goals to be reached and oh, where'd that go? For your goals to be reached and your plan on how you're going to get there. So you know, I give you a lot of feedback about how you can build things into your plan. I'm big on that because if you don't have a plan, like I said before, any road will get you there. The bottom line is that some people are ready for this and some people aren't. I think Gary's reminder of this classic quote: "The teacher appears and the student is ready." That's that's what I find is that some are ready for this, some aren't. When you're ready for it, you'll know it. And so Buffalo Soldiers says, how much do I delve into percent R during the sessions? Every session we're going into percent R. Now, the reality is what I showed you before is just a taste of what you're going to learn. You're going to learn a whole, whole lot more. You know, these sessions last at least an hour. Like I said, my, my associate Lisa says I've mastered the 75-minute hour. I always seem to go at least 75 minutes, more like 90 minutes lately because we've got so many people in the room that are asking so many very good questions that I want to teach everybody. Two is the minimum, but lately it's been running more like five. You know, So whichever it is, it's going to give you a, a really strong way to go to really take advantage of this, the big trends way. Includes, this is the thing you got to remember, it's not just a lot, all the past year's archives. That alone is worth a lot more than 99 bucks a month. But because we've had such good feedback about it, I've left them in there on a last 52 weeks basis. So, of course, it takes us some money to keep all that up because literally that much content, it's taking up a lot of room on our servers. And but that's okay. That's what we're there for. So, so now you get the chance to interact. It's not just you listening to me like we are today. It's about you being able to ask questions and get those questions answered. I leave no question unanswered. I, you know, good, bad, or ugly. On any past trade, on any new trade you're looking at, when I go through the scans, the strategies, how this works, the indicators, I usually will start each session with a with a focus on a specific indicator. It's not always percent R. Last week, I think we talked about uh, the bands, Bollinger and Acceleration Bands. The week before, we pulled trades with the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index. But it was backing up what I teach in the percent R and the other methodologies. Can you do option trades, Holly says, in IRA accounts? Absolutely. I mean, we keep it simple enough where you can just do straight buys or you can do spread trades, depending on what your broker will allow you to do. So this is how you get more growth in our winter circle pro program. We do everything from just straight options, puts and calls. A fun one last year was Dendrion. We did Dendrion right before they announced an FDA disappointment. FDA came in and said didn't pass their clinical trials and the, the puts skyrocketed to a 689% gain. Those don't happen that often, but hey, you know, usually we're talking 50 to 100% gainers. We're not greedy, but we are big on keeping our risk very manageable a lot smaller than that. Even RIM, which was in a disaster mode, actually had a short-term rally where we managed to take a doubler out of that last September. You know, but FXI is one we traded both ways. Recently, we had it on the long side, but you know, not just buying options. If you've ever done credit spreads or if you've never done them, you need to know how to start creating more income in your portfolio. These are income max gains. When you do a credit spread, if you do it right, then you don't have to close out the trade. It just goes away worthless, and you pocket all that money that came into your account on the front end. So you'll learn about all that. And Buffalo Soldier asks, do we have any specials regarding the teachings on percent on acceleration bands? Yes, um, you get special access. You don't. You don't actually get access for the ninety-nine dollars. For, that's for getting all the access just to the coaching that I do on a week-to-week -week basis. But you do get some nice special discounts as a Winter Circle member. I say Winter Circle, so I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. My family's been in the thoroughbred horse game for generations. I told my dad when I was at Duke University, I said I better get into something more conservative than thoroughbred horse breeding. I want to more conservatively trade stocks and options. And he thought I was nuts. But the reality was that, um, you know, it is more conservative because I can manage my risk. You can manage your risk. These weekly options do all expire on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time, Rick. That's correct. So that's why we'll do these trades. Um, so I mentioned Apple, but we, we did an Apple Iron Condor with a day to go and managed to book that several $2,700 profit for about five and a half hours held. In addition to the credit spreads, we'll do debit spreads. That's probably one of my favorites because um, 
And these dollars were coming from past students who were saying what they had done in just five months of trading, um, you know, just, you know, not trading even big account sizes like Bo's testimonial. But the reality is, is that, you know, debit spreads give you some growth potential, but they also reduce your risk. That's what I was showing you earlier with Apple. I also mentioned how we had done that with the S&P on the downside. So, um, you know, some of the other topics that we cover, we always look at the markets, the broad markets for the S&P, the gold market, the bond market, oil and the dollar we'll also cover from time to time. But the reality is a big part of what people love is how I show them how to, once you know this and educate yourself, it's how do you go scan and find these opportunities? And then how do you execute, how do you place the trades? Usually they're option trades. We might do an occasional stock trade or ETF trade. But then you get to submit your trades for analysis too. So how much experience do you need, says Brian, before you get in? I'm a big believer that you could literally start tomorrow not having any experience in anything I teach, and you'll walk away with something in each class that so you can start to apply right away. Whether you want to just take the trades that I give you or whether you want, I, I want you to know at least the basics about how you're going to manage your risk. So every trade that I talk about, since I'm doing this from a Friday to a Friday, usually benefiting on swing trades, but I'll, if we have a day trade, I'll say, this is what we're looking for today. Here's how you're going to get out of this trade. Here's your stop. Here's your target. So we're very, very clear on that about what you need to do. Now, some of the technical indicators I teach, and this is not on one class, obviously, I usually put a focus in each class over the course of, you know, a 52-week session, you'll learn all of these, um, and, and that's for a bargain. It, I'll allow you to do the $99 convenience uh, renew automatically, and if you don't like it, you can just email us at clientcareofbigtrends.com or call us at 800-BIG-TRENDS. We'll take care of you in between your month-to-month -month subscription. Bollinger Bands, uh, of course, are useful, but when you combine the two, when you do Accelerator Bands plus Bollinger Bands, you can really see that it'll take you off to new heights. Uh, ADX is big for me, the average directional movement, but knowing where that DMI trend is about to end is very valuable for exit strategies. Percent R, I've told you a little bit about the efficiency ratio. It's about time for me to talk about that in the classes because I haven't talked about that in a little bit. CCI, the Commodity Channel Index, those are some of the technical tools you'll learn through the course. But the reality is you'll also learn lots of strategies, not just breakouts, but probably one of my favorites, what I call low-risk entries, not just with percent R but other methods confirming it. So we'll teach you day trades, we'll teach you swing trades, we'll teach you position trades, one to four weeks on position, three to five days on swing, usually one or two days on day trading opportunities. With the market timing that's out there, we'll go through a lot of the changes in trend. And Steve's really good with the candle reversal patterns, too. You know, we'll teach you some of the things we look for for where the trend's likely to flip. So, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, Will I do any more training in this session, Tony? Yes, I'm going to look at a few more examples just to show you what you're missing, like on the S&P intraday. So, you know, bottom line is we're just showing you a lot of what you get. Exits, that's a big one. A lot of people don't put enough energy into exits. So, you know, targets, how do you set targets? So that's all a big part of it. And so this is just, for example, in a, in a trade session when I did four trades, this is kind of typical because we were getting bearish. We, we, we uh, had, in this case, a credit spread that was a, a bearishly oriented, what's called a, uh, a bear call spread. It was a credit spread betting that the market was going to kind of stall out. That one did. We also had Goldman puts um, from a prior session. I had Apple puts, but I wimped out and ended up taking a break even on that one after making some money on the other two. But I didn't like all that bear exposure. So I said, I've got all this bear exposure. I need a call. I searched for a call. I found a call on CME, and that one even made money. So you can make money on both sides. You don't have to be all in on the bull or the bear side. Okay, just because I know you're hungry for some more examples of stuff that we did, if you go back to the prior week, just as an example, if that's on here, I don't think that's actually, okay, we can't quite get back that far, but let me show you what I did the prior week. I usually have a feature trade every week. So in the prior week, let me show you what I did on the S&P. That was on the 19th. That was the expiration week for the um, for the monthly options on the SPY. If you go back, what was happening right there on the 19th, I had just done a training session, not just on percent R, but also on ADX and CCI. And I had said, look, we're already bear confirmed on the um, hourly chart, but look at what's happening here on for a quick trade on the 15-minute chart. 
part of what I did is I overlaid not just the 15 minute but also the 60 minute of the daily all in one chart view. It's a pretty cool little thing that I just show for my students. But bottom line is I said, look, this first 15 minute low has to break before I get bearish. And literally, like I said, remember how we started the class at 11 a.m. Eastern? And there it was. I said, it's about to go, folks. The low was 14, 144.85, and there it was, 144.78 at the 11.15 point of the class. I said, there we go. That's bear confirmed. So what I said is I want to buy the in-the-money put. We bought the 146 puts into the next week's expiration, the 10.26 uh, put options. And I was conservative, though, and I said, let's sell the 144s. I'm, I'm feeling a little conservative about this one. You know, we're not quite confirmed yet on the daily chart, so let's just sell the slightly out of the monies. Well, interestingly enough, that thing ran down so quickly that basically we locked in our full two-point profit essentially right away. You can see it tested back up to 143, but it never came back to the 144 strike, and we pocketed the full two points on the spread. We did the spread for $1.14. That ended up being a 75% gainer for just uh, six trading days of hold. We closed out of the entire trade here at the end of the day last Friday when it was 141. We said, look, the spread's worth two bucks. Just pocket the two bucks and say, thank you very much, Mr. Market, and move on. But you can see one of the good things about the indicators is they won't let you get bullish. They try to go uh, overbought on a few of these attempts, but it won't let you go bullish because it's not confirming. Whereas it was very confirmed and saying very oversold through that very strong downtrend last Friday. Uh, well, it was, I was actually Friday the, the 19th and then Monday the 22nd and into even Tuesday the 23rd. So that's what we're looking at. Percent R is very clean. Now, it's not perfect. You can see one of the things I like to do is I like to sync up my time frames. Look at what happened today. Today, this is giving a bear retest on the daily chart. But the hourly chart's giving a little buy signal. It just crossed over the first hour high midday today. And the 15-minute was giving a real strong buy signal early in the day with a good ADX. It actually had a retest that held. And so this was actually telling me that um, it should have just held that retest here. And basically, if I had set this up, it's on the percent R breakout, um, too. And maybe that's part of my problem here, the original breakout system. Yeah, I mean, you can see it just, it just, we, we're always testing different methods and retests, but that retest today held, and you can see then we bounce off of there. So, so technically, this is in a short-term positive for the, the S&P, and of course, you know, we would not want to fade this daily chart yet, and bet it's going to roll over until these short-term charts actually go bear confirmed. That's going to have to happen on a down move. So it's going to have to start rolling back up tomorrow morning. I'm not going to try to be a hero and guess that. Let's wait and see what happens, and then let's let the market tell us if the intraday uh, percent R's are lining up with the daily percent R's. When they're not in alignment, I don't trade. You'll find that you're a much better trader when you get these things all lined up. So from this perspective, you know, our testing is what comes in and tells us which methods to use. But the key is, just because we're using a longer time frame on percent R, don't just use that by itself. You've got to also know how to confirm it with the other tools. Um, but you'll see a pretty nice equity curve on this data. You know, if you go look at, give me, a, let's just think of a stock here. What about Netflix? Been really wild lately. You know, Carl Icahn announced yesterday he was buying 10% of the company. His stock shot up 10%. Guess what? Percent R in the daily chart wasn't there. Now, it was there. If you went back and looked at the 15-minute chart, it was showing you some strong buying interest before Icon's announcement came out, which you can see where it came out. There's the big surge in the stock. It was announced uh, yesterday that Icon had bought a big stake in the company. went from 70 to 80 in about 30 minutes, right? But, you know, Percent R was telling you to ride this puppy <laughs> until this morning, and it was telling you to hop out this morning, and then, you know, whatever happens from here happens. It bounced actually a little bit and then came back off. You know, not a great exit, but basically just told you that it's no longer in that strong uptrend. So, you know, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. Now, if I went and I looked at, I can do in TradeStation a strategy performance report across any time frame. So say I look at the daily chart, the hourly chart, you name your time frame. You know, percent R, for example, on the hourly chart for Netflix, 
over 17 trades. It's had a few little losers, but you can see it's had some nice winners too. The 15-minute chart, you can see it's really taken off here uh, over the last month. You know, it was kind of choppy. It looks like earlier in the year, stock wasn't really trending there or middle of the year, and it started to really trend again. So that's been a nice little pop-up. So you can do this kind of analysis and see what the equity curve looks like as well. Okay, twist my arm, Smita. I will give you one more. We'll look at Amazon. Okay, I'm not going to do this um, like I would do in the live sessions where people pay the 99 bucks a month. But the bottom line is that, uh, you know, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll show you one more. I'm going to post that link, too, so you can make sure to make a note of that since we're at the hour mark. Don't want to lose anybody because this price is going to go up. Um, after tomorrow's session. So make sure to get in on this and be ready for tomorrow's session. Plus, you can start learning the other tools. So what about Amazon? Well, look at the daily chart, Smita. Amazon broke down here, and then it had the retest right there on the pop-up there um, on the 26th this past Friday. That's a bear retest. That means that that high, 238.71, is a key high we're looking at. I talked to a lot of people who they'll put a stop just above that. If you put an intraday stop in front of that, you're in trouble. You need to learn how to use stops the big trends way. That's part of what I'll teach you. But you can see some of the best opportunities when this thing is breaking down on the daily is broken on the hourly, and then it also breaks on the 15-minute here on the 1024 bar, and that's where I would say all three time frames working in your favor, keep riding until there's a little exit. It was just a little too firm. That's the thing about these high-dollar stocks. They can knock you out and then knock you back in. But still, from the sell point at 230.5, it got you out at 228.65. That's worth a couple bucks. You know, so not bad, and then you can see uh, it doesn't give you another signal. So you stay away and now it bounces to the upside. I wouldn't take this bounce signal because this is a bear retest. So if you get caught on this short-term little day trade, you might be able to make a little money, but then it can turn on you on a dime. So I wouldn't take that signal, and that's where I'll teach you the uh, bottom line. So is the price going up, Ed says? Well, let me ask you, from what I've taught you on percent R tonight, hopefully you've learned that. Based on percent R, should you still be in this trade on the downside? In my rules, yes, you should. So basically, it's still a downtrending signal. So, and again, percent R is just a starting point. I'm just starting there because I wanted to leave you with something here over our hour together. So uh, somebody was kind of uh, drilling me earlier for saying I was I was talking too much about the uh, the the offer that you're going to get. It's a, basically a steal. But it's like, hey, I, I know it's a steal because that's why I'm raising the price uh, next week. So this is you're the last group that's actually going to get access to this at the ninety-nine dollars a month. After after this, it's going up to one ninety-nine a month because, frankly. I'm making enough money for people that basically they're just saying, well, I'm, they're learning a lot and they're earning a lot, and therefore um, they know it's a it's a super value. Now, just reminding you, you know, what we'll do with the scans. With the scans, let's quickly pop that back up real quick. I'm I'm your coach here, so I'm going to review your systems. I'm going to oh, go back to that. I'm going to walk you through the charts. I'll show you the key levels for the stops and the unique way we do the stops and also the target setting, how you set your targets, where you book partial profits. So, you know, from that perspective, I keep hitting the wrong button because I don't have my marker on anymore. But bottom line is that I'll show you the very – I'm really specific. See, this isn't some touchy-feely stuff. And Steve's the same way. He gives you his exact settings. I give you my exact settings on each of the indicators and systems so you can set it up yourself to find the opportunities even when we're not in session each Friday. To quality. You know, I would much rather focus on quality over quantity. I'm not the type who's a hyper trader who's going to give you, um, you know, too much. Now, you know, James is saying for people who are just at their workstations doing day trading, you know, I appreciate the kind words, but the reality is, is that even if you're a swing trader, you could use hourly charts. If you're a position trader, you could use day, the day chart, you know, at one, one point every day. You don't have to be in front of your computer all day, every day. And so the reality is, is that you can then start to learn this with percent R, but you'll actually increase your consistency when I show you not just the other filters that I use to go find these scans, but also and find the top trades, but also which is the best option strategy. See, the option strategy varies. Sometimes the options are too expensive. And a good example of that, I'll give you one more live example before we're done here. Um, let's go back to Apple for a second. Uh, two Fridays before last, 
Um, you know, so like last Friday we had the Apple trade on the downside. A couple of Fridays before that, it was on the. Uh, uh, you can see Apple's coming down here. It was on the twelfth. On the twelfth, I kind of blew people's minds because I said we're actually going to do a non-directional trade on the morning of the twelfth. Back here, we were the stock had been in a downtrend on the fifteen minute, and then it gave the exit. And I said, yeah, but look at the DMI lines. Look at some other things. We're back into a trading range. And I did some analysis of the open interest of the options, and I said, Apple is likely to stay stuck at 6.30 into this today's expiration. So that morning I said, we want to sell the options that expire at the end of the day on the 12th. These are weekly options. So we don't just buy options, folks. We did the iron condor. We sold the 6.30 put and the 6.30 call that expired that day, and we bought the wings. We bought the 6.35 call for protection. This is after it had just tried to run up to 635. So it was coming in right back in this area, about 11.15 Eastern. I spent about the first 20 minutes. If you, When you sign up, if you go into the October 12th class archive, watch what I teach you over the first 15 or 20 minutes. That alone will be well worth your $99 for the next 12 months, much less for the next month. But I said, look, this is how we look for these kind of opportunities. I said, why is it going to be directionless? What are some of the factors? And you can see it on this chart. I'm not going to give it all away. But the bottom line is that there are some things that are working for this chart and some things that are working against it. When we look at the hourly and the condition of not just the percent R but the, the other different bands and different other confirming tools. So, look, everything's set up for a very flat line market into the close. Well, this thing ended up chopping around. Look at where it finished. We, we did the trade, by the way, for um, it was a total premium collected of 3.45, uh, you know, it's like right around, uh, on 10 contracts, right around $3,500 collected, 34.50, I believe. And it finished, I said, get out five minutes before the close, you know, or if a couple other things happen, which they didn't. So I said, five minutes before the close, bought back the total spread for 68 cents. So we essentially took in like 2,700 bucks. So, you know, and, and, and people were just amazed at that. You know, just, just getting the comments from people, um, let me see if I can actually find one. Like Larry, Larry wrote me a funny note, Larry D. Um, so let's just find that note real quick. I just, I love, I'll pull these out of my email because it's just great getting the kind of feedback um, from our students. So I'm just going to pull that up because I remember it pretty well here. Um, Larry uh, said, hey, he said, I just want to congratulate you on a great call on the Apple Condor today in class. He said, I made a nice profit. And guess what? He'd like to know how I determined it would stay in that five-point range, and he would like to do more of those trades in the future. Would you like to make $2,700 a day on a 10-lot? Um, we were risking, essentially, at max risk was like $1,500, um, 1550 to be exact. So basically, you know, yeah. Make 2,700, uh, risking 1,550. That's kind of exciting for a one day. He said, and thanks for the constant education. Larry was very kind to submit that and, uh, and certainly gave him a nice little response. So the bottom line is that that's what we do the big trends way. Now, do you have to have a certain trading platform? You can see we're on TradeStation right here. But the bottom line is that you don't have to have a certain platform. We show TradeStation, TradeMonster, Thinkorswim, from time to time, um, you know, there's other platforms you can execute these trades. Percent R is going to be on quite a few of those. You'll learn some of the other tools, um, you know, that are only available on certain other ones here. I'm trying to go back to just finish up the PowerPoint and just remind you the link. Tony says he does mostly day trading. It's it's great for day trading. In fact, you'll see from 11 until 12:15, 12:30 every week, you're gonna I'm gonna be firing out opportunities you could take advantage of right there on the spot. Um, and, you know, so James said, do you have a special deal on TradeStation? Obviously, um, um, you can certainly take advantage of this, uh, the big trends way. Um, and, uh, you know, so from this perspective, um, we're really looking at an opportunity um, to say, how do you really benefit from this? Um, basically, you know, you benefit from it by getting started. So can you use it on a five-minute chart, Buffalo size? I, I would probably say go as low as a 15-minute chart based on my testing. And so here's that link again. Let me actually just remind you, when you click that link, what is it going to take you to? Um, it's going to take you to 
this uh, special page we set up for you here. For some reason, uh, it actually opened it in a browser here um, oh, for everybody. So let me actually just close that. But bottom line is when you go to that link, it's going to pop that up for you. So um, from this perspective, you'll see um, how this works, the Big Trends way. Now, does the $99 include the teaching videos so you can learn during the week? Um, Rick, yes, it does. The $99 gives you the online access to the last 52 weeks of classes, uh, of hour plus classes, uh, every, every single one. I, I can't believe that I'm giving that for essentially 99 bucks. If you're really uh, hungry and want to dive into it over the next month by yourself, a lot of people like to watch it multiple times too. So, but the bottom line is that you know, hey, you know, you can get your tr trades answered every Friday. So the bottom line is that you know, if you're looking at something, see, I can't share this individually. I'm not giving personalized investment advice, but I'm actually sharing what the indicators are saying for a crowd, for a small crowd in this case. And so Ed says, am I understanding this correctly? I'm charging 99 bucks for four days a month. Well, like I just said, I'm charging you 99 bucks not just for the four sessions per month, but also for the access to the last 52 weekly sessions as well. So you, once you see the power of these trades, uh, I think that you're going to say, wow, that 99 bucks a month is a slam dunk bargain. What I would suggest is try it for a month, and frankly, I, I stand behind it. If you're not totally thrilled, let me know. Um, and, and basically, you know, um, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out and say, okay, it didn't work out for you, moving on. But bottom line is that we're here to back you up. Now, Charlie says he does work on Fridays, or they recorded. Yes, every session is recorded. And so from that perspective, you're going to learn something about not just options. You're going to learn something about the market. See, Eduardo says he doesn't know anything about options. Would this still apply? Um, you know, what are you trading, Eduardo? I'd say if you're trading SPY, if you're trading gold, if you're trading futures, if you're trading um, ETFs, you name it, you're going to basically be able to really take advantage of this. Now, we do protect the information, so it is something that you get access to with a username, password to watch it anytime you want. I talk to people, I'm amazed at where people watch it. They watch it not just at home or their office, they'll watch it on the road, on their iPad or their iPhone. I mean, it's amazing to me how committed our students are. And you can probably see why, because they're having such great success trading this. You know, so like when Linda shared this nice testimonial, very nice of her, she said I could share it with folks. She's that she's been in the winner's circle for a month now. She said when she started, she'd never traded an option spread. She said, I'm easy to follow. We answer any questions that she has, and she's made a ton of money. What more could I ask for? This is a great service. Thanks, Bryce. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. That was very nice of you. Um, now, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, our job is to basically just help you be a better trader again and again. So, you know, what I'm all about is just backing it up. So, you know, it's something you'll get access to, you know, each of these classes to watch from our uh, streaming servers. The servers are very fast, so, you know, you're going to be real happy with that. And so, you know, again, you know, maybe, maybe you know, it's something where, you know, some people just seem to want every little bit of stuff for the littlest price, but the reality is, is it's like, you know, hey, you know, this at this price point, this is an absolute steal of a price. Now, the, the reality is is that, okay, in order for you to really take advantage of it, you're going to have to act tonight or tomorrow morning. Okay, so when you go to that page, you'll see that it tells you all about what you're getting. You're literally looking over my shoulder every single Friday morning, 11 to, I guarantee 11 to 12, but literally, if we get done at 12, I'll be shocked because I'm answering so many questions and showing you so many things I'm seeing that it seems to go 75 minutes or 90 minutes almost guaranteed. Uh, but I, I guarantee at least an hour, and then we keep on going as long as we need to to answer all of your questions. So, you know, the bottom line here is that, you know, 99 bucks. you start now, and basically you've got all of November. Uh, so basically that's going to take you through the end of the month. And then so in, in essence, you know, in this case with a 30-day class, um, you're going to basically see, you know, the next uh, – five weeks of classes in this case, I'm um, going to get rebuilt right at the beginning of December. 
So, you know, that's a great pot. You're actually getting even more bang for your buck. Break your cost down 20 bucks a class, in essence, in this current month, 25 bucks a class in most months. And, and you say, hey, is that worth it? What's a good trade worth to you, just out of curiosity? Is a good trade worth uh, 100 bucks to you, a few hundred bucks typically, 500 or 1,000 bucks? I mean, it's kind of eye-opening for me to see um, how this works. Winston says I'm selling too much. I'm just going to probably wrap it up because I probably have gone on longer than I expected. You know, the reality is I've showed you, if you haven't taken away something about percent R, something about some of these other tools, something about option charts, something about, um, you know, a lot of the different material I cover with you tonight, looking at the market, the SPY, Apple, looking for examples of iron condors, looking for directional trades, non-directional trades, getting overall market timing down, then maybe, you know, it's just not a good fit. So the bottom line is that, you know, hey, it's, it, remember what I said about it's going to be an hour class? Well, here we are at 75 minutes. My associate Lisa's is right again. We've mastered the, I've mastered the 75-minute hour. But I'm not sure what a dollar forty-five is, Eric, but bottom line is that, uh, you know, if you finalize the deal, all you have to do is just go ahead and sign on there. Um, and uh, let me post that link one more time. You need to click on this link because if you go to the past link that we had for it, it was at $199 or $197, and that price is going to go back up. So basically, you know, what you're looking for with these kind of trades is basically, you know, low risk entries. One of the real secrets of my method is that it's going to get you in at a relatively low risk entry area. So when you get in at a low risk entry area, Maybe some trades are going to get stopped out quickly, but you're not going to lose much on trades that don't do what they're supposed to do if you follow the rules correctly, and especially for these trades that we find intraday. So Brian says, uh, you know, sir, how can I get more information? Sure, you can call us. Now, I don't, I, I'm, I'm sitting here in my office, but, which is right around the corner from my home, but uh, basically you can call us in the morning at 800-244-8736. I sent my folks home. They work hard. Uh, we all do, but bottom line is that... Uh, you know, and Brian says he didn't get the link, so let me post that one more time. If you basically click on this link here that we put up there, let me put it in one more time. Looks like it might have locked up here for a second. Bear with me. Check it out. And we'll go from there. It looks like we might have locked up. Everybody, sorry about that. I just had to, for some reason, my, uh, I guess I had too many windows going. You know, it's tough when you've got all these charting platforms on top of the technology and uh, recording and all that. But anyway, thanks for posting that link for me, Andrea. I appreciate that one last time. And again, tough crowd tonight, but hopefully you learned something from it. If you didn't, then maybe you need to go back and watch the archive. Um, I'm going to be tough on you as well and say, hey, you know, it's all about, you know, making yourself more effective. Um, Jennifer says, I was priceless. Or you were priceless. That's correct. Um, so, you know, you, you know, we've got all kinds of stuff, Tony. I mean, bottom line is that, you know, it's like anybody's offerings. I mean, you know, sure, the DVDs and the digital products give you additional insight. You know, some, some people want to get that insight faster. Some other people, you know, I, I would say, you know, at the 99 bucks a month, start there. You know, go through the archives. You know, dig in there. If that's too much for you, or if it's over your head, you think, you know, I'm, you know, drop me an email if, if you think that gee, it's too much information to absorb. It's, you're probably going to think for ninety nine dollars, this guy's crazy to give this much away for just ninety nine bucks a month. But the bottom line is that, you know, how much more do you need to buy to have an effective system? I don't think you need to buy anything more, Jim. I think you're going to learn those tools 
week in and week out. These session times are at 11 a.m. Eastern, so I'm just basically just typing it in. Uh, and, and it says 11 o'clock Eastern, Brian. So the markets have opened a little bit. They've settled. They've settled in a little bit, and we've still got plenty of time to take advantage of it. Thanks for the kind words, Joseph B. I appreciate it. And then remember, you're going to get access to all of this stuff. Um, so, you know, basically you'll start to really dive in and learn about it. Okay, so um, so if, if you were breaking down the uh, the session by session uh, materials, yeah, I mean, you know, hey, you guys have probably heard all kinds of pitches out there, right? I figure at 99 bucks for the next four weeks of sessions, plus it's not the next four weeks, it's also the last 52 weeks. So you're basically getting the, the last 50, you're going to get a total of 56 sessions if you think of it that way for 99 bucks if you just want to stay in for a month and cancel within the 30 days, that's fine. You know, you break your cost per hour for me down to less than two bucks an hour that way. Okay, so yeah, you can see the potential appreciated Buffalo with percent R. I mean, that's what I wanted to show you. It's just to get that, you know, flavor of just even one simple technique that's done differently than what the rest of the crowd does. All my stuff is data tested, so it's like I'm not going to show you stuff that's not proven to work in the heat of battle. All right, thanks for bearing with me, too, Donald, for um, when I got knocked out. I didn't trip over a plug. I think my computer just said it's been a long day. Maybe I need to reboot it before these sessions because it, it's been going all day. Um, so I appreciate it, everybody. Um, and you couldn't log in because the room was full, says James. Make sure then to catch the archive and go to that link to get started right away. Uh, we'll be giving everybody access uh, tonight and in the morning, so you'll, you'll get access and you'll basically be able to start diving into the past ones and look for an invite from us in the morning for all the new people coming on. Uh, there will be recordings sent out tomorrow, JTrader. Um, but bottom line is that make sure you click on that link and take advantage of it. Um, it's my way of saying thank you to Steve. He's been a great uh, supporter of Big Trends, and we're big fans of the Candlestick Trading Forum. So take care, everybody. Great having you with us. I'm going to go get some rest and can't wait to see a bunch of you in there tomorrow with my other Winter Circle Weekly Trading Workshop students. You're going to love it. I'm committed to making sure you're a happy camper. Take care. Trade well and can't wait to find some new trades after the jobs data tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern time is when we get started. Make sure you're on board before that. And last time I'm going to post a link just so you haven't missed it. Go to that link right now. And thank you, Steve. I will hand it back to you if you're still around. If not, I'm going to wish everybody a good night and say trade well. See you soon. Thank you very much, Bryce. As I uh, have probably professed to many people on here, that if something doesn't work, you won't see it around very long. That's why I say candlesticks uh, work, because they've been around for 400 years. Uh, I've been doing uh, this online training for over a decade, and I've seen dozens, if not hundreds, of uh, supposedly uh, well, the new secret to making money uh, come and go. But as you can see, price has been around for years. And the reason he's been around for years is because his stuff works. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's just like me, that if he can find something to improve his trading, he's adding it on and uh, passing it on to everybody else. So take a look at uh, his information. It's been around for quite a while because it works. And uh, so, Price, I appreciate the information again tonight. And uh, everybody take a look at uh, Price's information. It's, it's Got beneficial stuff in there. I hope everybody could hear me. Okay, good. All right. Everybody, again, Price, thank you, and uh, we'll see everybody in the uh, chat rooms. Everybody have a good evening. Stay out of the snow.